Well, I'm finally making some progress on the Tacoma here, or at least I'm, I'm hoping so. The guy sent me a message a couple of days ago saying that he's got a bedside for it, so I'm currently on my way there to go and hopefully pick it up. He says it's in good shape. And the good news is that it's a silver one, which means I don't need to paint it, which is going to save me a ton of time, a ton of hassle, a bunch of money. Um, so hopefully this checks out. i got about a two hour drive ahead of me, so I'm going to go and take a look at this thing. Hopefully I'll be leaving with a, a six foot bedside in the back of the Forerunner here, and uh, we can move on to some other stuff. Wish me luck, guys. I hope this works out. We have success. As you can see, we've got the bedside here. Uh, it's in actually really good condition. It's got a couple little dings in it, but nothing like the one that's on the truck. Um, guy was actually pretty cool too. He's got his own little kind of Toyota graveyard out there. I didn't get any pictures of video just for his own privacy, but it was like the holy grail if you're into Tacomas and Forerunners and stuff, that's for sure. Um, so yeah, here it is. I'll, when I get home, I'll show you guys what it actually looks like. We'll go over uh, the condition of it and uh, maybe we'll even throw it on the truck at that point too. Alright, so here's the condition that I got the bed in. And overall it's really good. Uh, especially comparing to the one that's on there. It's got a couple of little dings. Uh, there's one somewhere over here, just a small one, but it matches the rest of the truck, so I'm not concerned about that. Uh, it has a few scratches too, but uh, A, it's nothing super deep, but also we're going to be doing a full paint correction on this truck then once we get all the, the body work done. So those are all buff out. That's all just nothing is very deep in here. Uh, the only other thing is along the top of the bed here there's some rust that I might hit with a wire wheel and uh, just spray it with something to seal it back up. The good news is there's a plastic cap that goes over top of this you can't see it so uh, yeah but overall in really good condition. Alright so I guess we're going to start from the top down. We're going to pull this cap off first and then we'll take this channel out as well. This is just held in with screws. This one is just clips. It should just pop off. Uh, so we'll work our way down and then we'll probably so we'll pull the tailgate, we gotta pull this tail light out to get at these bolts, and we gotta remove the bumper too. Alright people, i got to give you the update here on what's been going on behind the scenes here. So I've been working on, I knew that these bolts in here were going to be the hardest ones to get at. And the way this works, at least the way you're supposed to do it, is you're supposed to take these bed bolts out and actually shift the whole bed back in order to get at those. Well, once again, thanks to Canada, and thanks to the geniuses at Toyota for using Torx bit, on these bolts. <laughs> these are the ones that are coming out of this truck. The rest are completely seized in there. Um, so of course since I was fighting it I didn't exactly get the camera out to uh, show you what's been going on but I was able to between a whole bunch of creativity and uh, using like a swivel joint and using my long kind of spidey fingers here uh, I was able to get these out with the bed in place because I just don't believe. I soaked it with oil, I hit it with the impact, hit it with a breaker bar, they're just not budging. So I had to had to switch to plan B. Good news is, plan B worked. This is loose, so now the next up, uh, we're going to have, I believe there's two bolts up in here, there's a bracket down in here, and then these easy ones to get at. 
back here. And then we'll have the dead side off. So that's uh, what we've been up to. Now you're all up to speed. Bedside off. Almost all these old bolts are almost all these old bolts are broken off, so I'm gonna have to drill this guy out and then uh, these guys up here they're causing trouble too and uh, some of them we were able to save but I'm gonna have to go to the hardware store tomorrow and match up some bolts I guess. These ones all came out no problem. Anyways I gotta drill a couple old broken ones out and then we'll slap the new bedside on. Got the new bedside hung and I got a bunch of the bolts in but I'm gonna have to uh, source some new ones to replace the broken ones but to be brutally honest with you I want to go to the beach now so I'm gonna cut this video here we'll pick back up tomorrow go we'll find some new bolts and then uh, we'll be good to go but I got uh, these guys in that was the hardest part this one down here is in but it's still loose so I have to figure something out with that okay I'm back so today, it's just a matter of putting Humpty Dumpty back together again. Bedside is on, sturdy. All the bolts are in. So, it's really just a matter of, uh, maybe we'll put the bumper back on next. Bumper and tailgate, and then uh, it's just the trim stuff on the top, and we've got the new bedside on. Bumpers on. I have to still loosen those off and kind of play with the alignment a little bit. I'm not sure if this is just kind of a set it and forget it thing, or or if we have to kind of adjust it. Um, gap wise, I think this thing is this bumper has been smacked a little bit at some point, just because this side lines up like that, and then come over. This side is a little bit different. I don't know. It's not too bad actually. Maybe the whole thing has just been kind of twisted this way a little. Again, this is a 300,000 kilometer truck, so we're not looking for show quality. Uh, I'm for sure I'm gonna have to order some new trim pieces for it. That'll be kind of the, the final stage before we get into detailing and stuff. I can't wait to get rid of these license plate frames. Oh, I hate these things. Especially somebody paid $30,000 for this truck brand new and then you're gonna give the person free advertising on top of it? Come on. Should be paying me to put this stuff on there. So that's coming off. Um, this is still good. Overall, this top trim piece isn't too bad, but I think the, the spot where the clips mount is snapped off. So I think, unfortunately, we're gonna have to get a new one of these. Obviously a new one of these, because that one's missing. 
this one um yeah again the the clips are broken so we're gonna have to just replace all of this trim um so yeah we'll throw the tailgate on next and then just the, the top pieces and she'll be done for now Alright, she's back together, at least temporarily. We now have a dent-free bedside on this thing, and it's already looking so much better now. Now, this sticker, I know people pay good money for these. Guys, it's not a TRD Sport, so this is going to have to come off. Um, I'm going to take a heat gun to it and peel it off before we polish the paint. And then like, scuffs like this, is gonna, these are all going to come out when we polish it. And I've got a pretty cool video in mind for you guys for that. Something uh, really relatable to the, the average uh, total truck owner, and uh, not so much with the polishing Ferraris and stuff that's all over the internet. Something a little more real world for you guys. So this isn't going to go anywhere. This is a gouge. This guy here, but uh, this is light years better than the the bed's head that was on there. It looked like Donkey Kong karate chop that thing. Actually, it's right here. Look at this. Look at the dents in this thing. And I'm actually glad because originally I thought I could save this flare piece and the guy that I got the bedside from he said it'd just be quicker if I just pay him the extra 50 bucks and leave the flare on the new one and so I thought well you know time is money makes sense I'll just take this one off and sell it uh, but I didn't realize that this crease where this dent is it goes right into the flare too and so I would have ended up with a slightly damaged flare on an otherwise great looking bedside so I'm really glad that I did that I'm still going to pull this one off and I'll probably just sell it for cheaper. If they normally sell for 100 bucks, maybe I'll put it up for 60 or something because it's not in that bad a shape. It just has this. I'm going to try polishing some of these marks out of it. Um, and maybe if any of you guys are looking for Tacoma fender flares or something in your local or somewhat nearby, let me know. The next steps for the old taco here. You might be surprised that I put this rusty, cracked old tailgate back on with all these uh, nasty trim pieces. This is temporary, guys. Um, as we speak right now, I have a brand new tailgate and a brand new front bumper and most importantly, a brand new driver side fender getting painted right now. So I was just gonna get this this front bumper resprayed, but uh, the body guy took a look at it. He thinks that there's a repair here. They've they've bondoed a rubber bumper here for some reason, so he thinks there's there's definitely something hiding behind here. He thinks it's going to cost way more money to strip and prep this bumper than it is to just buy a brand new one. Uh, and then he can just scuff it and paint it right away. So, uh, bumper's getting painted, brand new tailgate getting painted, and most importantly, this is next on the agenda. We got to get rid of this damage, and I've got a brand new fender for this as well. So we're going to put all those painted pieces on just to save some time and some money because this guy's booking into December. And so I can help him out by putting the panels on and just bringing him the stuff to paint. You know, he can just kind of spray it after he's done a day's work or something. Um, and then once everything is put back together, I'm going to bring in the whole truck. And we're going to see about fixing this damage here. Uh, if the, the color match on this new fender isn't dead on, he's going to have to blend it into this anyways. So we'll see about that. And if there's going to be paint work being done on this door, this badge is probably going to have to come off. And I'm wondering about everything I'm going to have to transfer from the old tailgate onto the new one. I'm assuming the new one doesn't come like with the door handle and like the linkage and all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to have to swap that over. So we got 45 different badges on this thing that I'm, I'm kind of questioning 
if I'll put them back on. It might just be a clean look of just a plain silver new tailgate. And if I do that, I don't want it to stand out from the rest of the truck. Um, so if we have to pull the badge on that side in order to do the paint work, then I'm going to all debadge the other side too. And we'll just have a, a really clean, all silver looking truck. And uh, yeah, she'll be good. She's coming a long way already, let me tell you. It feels good to have this thing looking good again. So um, once we fix all of the actual condition of everything, we're going to have a ton of fun detail on this thing, guys. I'm going to polish the crap out of this paint job. And this is going to go from being one of the kind of beat up Tacomas around town to being one of the nicest ones that I'm sure people are going to be giving her compliments on it when she's stopped to get gas or something like that. It's bound to happen. So, and If you guys are watching this Tacoma content and you're eating it up, then I'm going to respond to that. We're going to keep on playing with this thing. We're going to make it cool then. First we got to make it nice and fix the condition, but then we can make it cool. Maybe we'll do a little lift. We'll do some bigger tires. Maybe do some nicer wheels. Ideally, I would love, 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 love to make this the Tacoma version of my 4Runner with a similar look. You know, just really clean and simple, but with some bigger tires on it, some nicer wheels, just a mild lift. I think this would be a perfect match that we've got a, basically an SUV and a, a pickup truck version of the same truck. So, uh, at least for as long as we keep this one. Eventually this will be getting replaced with a Tundra, which is going to kind of unlock a whole new world of content for us too. So, exciting times. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you on the next one.